Maybe you've seen these cheap Chinese Type 56, you know, chest rigs on eBay. They sell for under $20. Um, when you get it, uh, it's 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 not it's not done yet. It's not it's not ready for use. Um, I'm going to show you a couple things that we've done to make this an acceptable chest rig for actually fairly cheap. One of the first things you'll notice, this has a homemade camouflage pattern. And what that was, just took some regular spray paint, got this at Walmart. Um, and if you've seen these in pictures, they do come in a very bright green, painted a little camouflage on there, really toned it down. Um, didn't paint it all black, wanted to keep it some, some green, but that is a homemade camo pattern, just some, just some stripes. The second thing we did, is if you see this on, on eBay, you see the pictures of it, it came with these two straps and they tie like in a, in a bow, you tie it behind your back. Um, what we did is we put on this buckle, so you, have, you would fit it to the, your size, we taped it in place so it wouldn't, so it wouldn't be hanging, you know, we wouldn't have straps hanging behind you. And now it's a quick disconnect and it's, it's gonna buckle in and on and make it much more, much more secure and eliminate that tying that knot behind your back. The third modification we did is when you, when, you, when you get these, you'll see this is an AR-15 30 round mag, and these pockets are just way too deep. They would swallow up and totally take your, take your mag. Very hard to retrieve, very hard to get it out. So what we did is we, we, we put down some foam rubber blocks. These are cut out of a high density foam rubber, similar to what you'd have like in a wrestling mat. Stuffed down into there, this one has it now. So now when you shove the mag in, it stays up just high enough to where you can grab your mag and, and pull it out when you, when you need it, when you're making that reload. And the mag kept the mag from going all the way down to the bottom of the pocket. Um, but that foam rubber is nice and light. It took up a little bit of space and now put the, put the magazines right where we got them for easy reach. So there you go, three very simple modifications, the camouflage pattern, the foam blocks in the, in the pockets, that quick disconnect buckle in the back, and turned this cheap Chinese uh, Type 56, you know, Vietnam era chest rig into an acceptable, passable, usable chest rig. When we first got this chest rig in the mail, I was actually pretty impressed with it. Um, it's very, very well built. Uh, heavy straps, heavy duty stitching. All this, all this, uh, these pockets are double, are double stitched. Very heavy duty, thick, very thick, um, heavy, uh, that nylon Cordura type. Um, material um, I would say overbuilt a lot I expected a cheap thin you know cottony kind of a canvas material and I was very very surprised when this showed up it's 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 double thickness it has that double thick backing on it um, I was kind of impressed with the construction of it I mean it was bright ugly green the pockets are way too big it had that stupid tie in the back we fixed all those things we adapt adapted it to make it you know usable um, I don't like that it's made in China it's this is not my rig I would never buy this shit um, but a couple quick mods and made it usable um, like I said this is not that's why I could I can't wear it I can't show you because it's not set up for me all the uh, straps have been have been taped in place for someone much much thinner through the chest than I am I'm a little thick I'm a little I'm a, I'm a kind of a big guy this won't fit me um, we could adjust the strap so it would fit, but I ain't gonna wear this crap. Uh, anyway, you can take a cheap Chinese Type 56, made in China, piece of shit, and turn it into a usable chest rig. The price of chest rigs are outrageous. Here's a cheap, inexpensive alternative. Hope that helps. Kind of the tip of the day, tip of the week. Good luck. Hope you make one. Tell me how it goes. Talk to you in the next video.